Hi Earthlings, welcome back to my channel. I have never done any sort of content like this, but I asked on my Instagram, I want to play that game where you try to connect two unrelated things on Wikipedia, but I want to keep it space-based and talk through what I'm doing. This is me from about five minutes later. This is apparently called Wiki Racing, and I didn't know the name, and I also didn't know I was supposed to go fast, so... Now I know. So I posted this video on my Instagram stories and asked you guys for suggestions about which two things I should try to connect. And you gave really difficult ones that I'm kind of nervous about. And I've also never done this before. So let's jump in. I actually am giving myself a few rules. The first one is I'm not allowed to use the see also section. And the second one is I'm not allowed to control F and search for something. I'm a really slow reader and you're about to see that. So if I don't see it, I don't see it. Let's get started. The first one I see is Sally Ride and the Andromeda Galaxy. Okay, Sally Ride's Wikipedia, and we're connecting it to the Andromeda Galaxy. So if we're at Sally Ride as an astronaut, we gotta zoom out, we gotta go like Earth, Milky Way, Andromeda, right? We gotta zoom out, we gotta get out of the astronaut thing. So we don't wanna click on astronaut, space, right? Space, is that too zoomed out? We can find galaxy, galaxies, Milky Way. We'll find the closest one, right? It'll, we'll say closest one is Andromeda. Um, local group, maybe local group. It might just be here. Etymology, appearance. Hmm. Sun's location and neighborhood. Here we go. Hmm. I really thought it would be there. Okay, we might need to go. Oh, wait, Andromeda Galaxy, but it's not highlighted. What does that mean? Does that mean I did it? It says Andromeda. Do I have to find it highlighted? Oh, it's right here. Found it. Okay, done. Next one. Sputnik and the Canadian arm on the ISS. That is called the Canada, Canada arm? C Canada arm? Okay, so let's go with Sputnik. Sputnik 1. Sputnik 1. So the good news about this is we're staying with spacecraft, so we have to get to the ISS to get to the Canada arm. Canada arm. Canada arm. We have to get to the ISS. So if we go Sputnik NASA... I don't know how we do that, like Sputnik, Soviet space program, NASA, we'll try, okay, Soviet space program. We'll find NASA, NASA's gotta be here somewhere. Venus and Mars, low earth orbit, US space programs. Is it, why isn't NASA like right here? I don't know what administration made the ISS. This is when I would want to control F for the ISS. Legislation? No, I just want, where's NASA? Apollo, NASA advisory council. Am I missing where it says just NASA? NASA was founded in the 50s. So should be here, right? Am I missing this? Oh, oh no. Okay, well maybe we can go straight to the ISS. The Biden administration ordered the takedown, takedown of the ISS where it's gonna deorbit. We don't want Artemis program. Space Force. Okay, she was on the ISS. ISS, got it. Okay, now we're gonna go Structure, robotic arms, Canadarm, Canadarm, Canada, Canada Darm, Canadarm, nailed it. Okay, next one. Leica the space dog and dark matter. That is gonna be really hard. Leica, Soviet dog sent to space in 1957. Really sad story. Don't want to talk about it. 
What are we getting to? So it was like of the space dog and what? Like of the space dog and dark matter. Okay. We need to zoom out from, we need to go into more astronomy and less spacecraft. Okay. So we'll go earth. Earth, solar system, we need get like galaxy, we need universe. Un okay, universe is right there. Universe, this is going to be easy. We're getting dark matter? Matter? Click it. Where's dark matter? The dark matter has to be right here. Am I just missing it? Dark. Wait, dark. Dark matter. I think these are getting too easy. We have Galileo, the astronomer, and Jim Bridenstein, who was an, the last administrator of NASA. And I want to make this harder on myself because I, I think if I find NASA, it's going to get way too easy. So I think for the rest of the video, I haven't used the NASA page yet, but that's going to be a new rule. No clicking on NASA because I will immediately find it and I want to make it a little harder. So I'm going to start with Galileo. Galileo. How am I going to get to Jim Bridenstine? He was the last administrator of NASA, so we have to think about something that the last administration did at NASA. So, so the Artemis programs, he greenlit the Artemis programs. So if we find Artemis, we can find Jim Bridenstine. That's what we're going to do. Galileo. I say that like it's so easy. Okay, Galileo. What are, a Telescope? If we go tell us, no. Jupiter would be really zooming out. We could go Jupiter spacecraft. Okay, we can go Jupiter. I bet there's going to be a spacecraft. Planet, solar system. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Pioneer 10. Robotic spacecraft. Okay, robotic spaces, spacecraft. Spacecraft. Humans. Could we, is there a human? Launch vehicle, separate space vehicle. Oh, there are celestial bodies, but it, that, that'll just be, yeah, okay. Space shuttle. I can't click on NASA. History. Okay, what records has Artemis broken? It's the fastest spacecraft built for humans. So we can go to fastest spacecraft. It's not the actual fastest spacecraft though. ISS. Maybe we could find Apollo. Wait. Oh. The Artemis capsule is called Orion. I got excited, but that's a different Orion, apparently. We've got Hubble. We've got JWST. Where is even Apollo? Space planes? Oh, did I make a mistake? Apollo. Can we find Artemis? We'll go to Apollo. Apollo program. That's a different Apollo program. That'll be better, I think. Apollo program. And then maybe it'll have like legacy. Should we go legacy Artemis? Will that cultural impact? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, we can't use the C also. Lunar landings. We'll go lunar landings. Moon landings, here we go, here we go. 21st century, if we scroll down. Proposed future missions. Where is Artemis? Why is an Artemis on Wikipedia? What, oh, it's right, it's right here, I found it. Okay, Artemis, we have to get a Jim Bridenstine. We got a history. Early history, Barack Obama, Obama, Obama. 
Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Where's Jim Bridenstine, the administrator of NASA right here? He's right here. Jim Bridenstine. Galileo to Jim Bridenstine. We did it. Up next is Electron. Electron and Space Garden. I don't even think Space Garden will have a Wikipedia page. Space Garden? It doesn't exist. Plants in space. We're going to do plants in space. But we have to start with... What are we starting with? We're starting with electron and we're going to plants in space. Okay, electron. This is gonna be really hard. We're gonna have to zoom way out from electron. Electron, we're gonna go, oh no. We're going to plants in space. Grab, okay, 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 okay. Cause we can go electron, gravity, microgravity, ISS, plants in space. That's the path we're gonna go. So gravitational, gravitational waves, gravity, microgravity. Give me, give me microgravity. Let's find micro, hold on. Weightlessness, that's microgravity. ISS, ISS, ISS. Actually, it might be on this page, right? Like plants and weightlessness. Neutral buoyancy. Effects on non-human organisms. Here we go, wait, microbes. Give me plants. Come on. All right, we'll go to ISS. This has to have plants in space. Life aboard. Crew and health safety. I'm trying to get to their food. Crew and health safety. No radiation and stress, medical, noise. Okay, maybe this was not it. Um, onboard systems, life support. Okay. Where would I find food? Structure? Nope. Closing that. I don't want any construction. Nope. Crew active. Oh, food. <laughs> food and personal hygiene. Okay. Space toilets. How are we getting the space toilets? Oh, space food. Space food. Most space food is free dry freeze dried. Okay, but give me the stuff that isn't. Processing, beer. Without gravity to separate the liquid and gas in the stomach, burping results in a kind of vomiting called wet burping? What is that? Oh my goodness. Canned food, give me the fresh food. Where is it? Where? You're gonna give me chocolate sauce but not fresh food? Today, International Space Station. Okay, 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 okay. We've got all of these. Here we go. We've got reindeer jerk jerky on space, but we don't have plants? Come on! Wait, here, look. The leaf chamber. Plants growing in space, but it just doesn't have anything to click on. I feel like this has to count. It counts, I'm calling it. Okay, the next one is the local void and pulsars. A pulsar is a highly magnetic core of an exploded supernova. So, okay, this is going to be easy. The local void. This is going to be easy. Local void. Because pulsars, we're going to go local void, what's in galaxies, star lifetime. It's going to be easy. Space, local group, galaxy. Let's go galaxy. Stellar remnant. Look, it's going to be so easy. Stellar remnants. Neutron stars. A pulsar is a neutron star. It's just very magnetic. It's got to be right here. 
It's gotta be right here. Where is it? Am I just not seeing it? Am I just not seeing it? Where's a pulsar? A pulsar is a neutron star. Magnetic fields. I'm so confused. Pulsar, done. Okay, I'm just a slow reader. Well, I had a bunch of fun doing that. I have a lot more to go, so join me in part two for even more. And if you like this, let me know in the comments. In the meantime, go follow me elsewhere, and I will see you in the next one. Did you just hear my stomach growl?